Hello, my name is John Miller. I'm the director of the Neolife Scientific Advisory Board. And my purpose today is, is to share with you an exciting new product that we're just launched. It comes from the science of bioenergetics, literally the new frontier of the science of cellular energy. It's an amazing new product, and it's CoQ10 with mitochondrial energy complex. It's a unique formulation which provides comprehensive support to energy production in the cell using exclusive technologies and based on decades of research. Now, cellular energy production is not a new thing for Neolife. In fact, the company was founded on the idea uh, nearly 60 years ago with the introduction of Trianin, the first whole food lipid and sterol supplement targeted at cell membranes in general and in particular their structure and function. It supports cell membrane function in that it creates pliability and motility so that things can get across in and out of the membrane effectively, and it improves nutrient utilization and promotes cellular energy production. A very, very unique and powerful product that is still just as important today as it was those nearly 60 years ago. The product is called Trianin, and Trianin was developed specifically to optimize cellular membrane structure and function. Cell membranes do more than just keep what's inside inside and what's outside outside. They are active transport systems that selectively bring important nutrients inside so that they can be used to produce energy or to make a byproduct of that cellular activity and then export that byproduct and eliminate the waste. When that doesn't happen right, cells don't work right at their most energetic and efficient best and therefore you can't either. So that's a well-established idea that Neolife first pioneered way back in the late 1950s, but the Scientific Advisory Board has continued to research in all the decades ever since. Now we know that that cell membrane concept of fueling and fortifying cell membranes so they work effectively was in fact not only important to the outer cell membranes, but to the many membranes that exist within the cell. In particular today, I want to talk to you about your mitochondrial membranes. So the mitochondria are the energy producing powerhouses of your cell. You have several mitochondria in some cells, many more in others and a few less in others. But essentially every cell in your body has one to produce the energy it needs to stay alive and fulfill its function. Well, deep within your mitochondria, within those membranes, a very important event takes place. And that is the production of energy. And that production of energy is facilitated in what's called an electron transport chain, where electrons are literally passed between one point and another. And that process is facilitated by a very important nutrient called coenzyme Q10. It is the only nutrient that can facilitate that role and is critical to cellular energy production, literally the spark of life at the most basic level. The thing you need to know about CoQ10 is every cell in your body needs it all the time. If you think about it, just simple energy production, which is totally dependent on CoQ10, has to go on in your cells all the time. Matter of fact, we know that each and every cell is involved in some kind of biochemical reaction about 100,000 times each second. So you can see that every second of every minute of every hour of every day that activity goes on and it's all CoQ10 dependent. But you find the greatest CoQ10 needs in the hardest working areas of your body, the hardest working cells where you have the greatest number of mitochondria. For example, your muscles. All muscle activity, no matter how small or how large, demands CoQ10 to facilitate that energy production. But also in your heart, liver, and kidneys. Organs have a very high mitochondrial load because they're always active doing something and thus have a high mitochondrial energy need or CoQ10 need, particularly in the heart, which is probably the hardest working muscle in your body. Additionally, your brain and central nervous system, which even though you go to sleep at night, they never really shut down. They are burning energy all the time and thus have a high need for uh, mitochondrial energy and, and CoQ10. So how do you know if you've got enough of this stuff? Well, really, you can't. I mean, you can, I suppose, if you don't feel energetic or you feel lethargic 
or you just feel like you can't get yourself moving, but really it's hard to know. But what you should know is that CoQ10 loss is a modern health reality and that insufficient CoQ10 undermines health and vitality at every level. First, here's what science tells us. CoQ10, which can be produced in your body, naturally declines as you age. When you were born and you go through your development years, you reach your peak of CoQ10 production. But once you hit that point, maybe around in your late teens, something like that, you, a body immediately goes into, into decline. As a matter of fact, from the time you're 20 to the time you're, say, 40, you'll generally lose more than half of your initial CoQ10 production capacity. On top of that, as you continue to age, it goes down so that when you're in your later ages, maybe 60, 70, or 80, you are well less than half of the normal CoQ10 levels that you would need to support a healthy body. That's a scientifically proven fact. It's just the way things work. Secondarily, poor diets result in poor CoQ10 availability. The reason for that is CoQ10 exists naturally in cells of just about every living thing. And in fact, when you eat a lot of those natural living things like whole foods, whole fruits and vegetables and grains and things like that, you used to get a lot of sort of dietary import of CoQ10 that way. But today's modern diet is devoid of that. Not only are people not eating all the whole foods that they need to eat, but the kinds of foods that they're replacing it with tend to be devoid of CoQ10 in the first place. They tend to get processed out like many of the other important nutrients that are absent in our diets today. So diet is another way that that's undermined. Next, drugs. Prescription and over-the-counter medications. There's more than 300 of them that have been associated with somehow interfering with CoQ10 production or utilization. It's just a natural reality. Something as simple as acetaminophen can deplete natural CoQ10 production in your body or your body's ability to utilize CoQ10. In particular, those of us who are on statins, that portion of the population that is given a statin drug, not only is the process of lowering cholesterol causing that to happen, but because of where that activity takes place, actually blocking the action of a natural pathway in your body that produces cholesterol, that same natural pathway is also the pathway by which your body produces CoQ10. So when statins block cholesterol production, they also block CoQ10 production, which is sort of a strange idea when you think about it, because you take a statin drug to protect your heart, and in the end you block CoQ10, which your heart needs more than just about any other organ in your body. So you can see it's a little bit of a catch-22 there, but that's another way it's depleted. What are the impacts of this? Well, the impact of, of low CoQ10 is pretty obvious. Energy production in general, but we compromised. If you don't have enough CoQ10 to produce the energy you need, guess what? You're not going to feel energetic. You're not going to get up and move. But in addition, low CoQ10 impacts those areas that are most CoQ10 dependent. So muscle function, whether it's your heart or just the muscles of your body. When you don't get enough CoQ10, muscle function is compromised. And part of that compromise can manifest itself as pain. So generally, unless you're really pumping iron out there, you shouldn't experience a lot of muscle pain. But muscle pain is an association also linked to statin blockers. So who knows whether it's the statin that's causing the muscle pain or the statin that's blocking the CoQ10 that's therefore causing the muscle pain. A great deal of research points to that last, that it is the absence of CoQ10 in sufficient quantities that promotes or allows for that muscle pain uh, to occur. And as I mentioned earlier, energy levels go down. But in addition to that, disease risk goes up. Low CoQ10 has been associated with an increased risk of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, neurodegenerative diseases, cognitive decline, and even the probability of having a migraine headache, and much, much more. The reason for that is that these things are so fundamental to how our cells work, so much involved in energy production, when those things get out of balance, the whole system can get out of balance as well. So let me tell you a little about how important Neolife CoQ10 is and why it is a perfect solution to natural or unnatural 
mitochondrial energy production that you are experiencing. First, a few things that set it apart from everything else that's on the market. It's naturally sourced CoQ10. It starts with a plant-based carbohydrate. It's not made from petrochemicals or any other fancy uh, or funny drugs or other pathways out there. Second, it contains Neolife's exclusive mitogenic phytolipid and sterol blend. For those of you who know Neolife, you know that we are all about lipids and sterols. That's tree and grain concentrates and how they work in membranes, particularly cell membranes. And by amplifying and modifying and leveraging our technologies off of that, this mitogenic phytolipid and sterol blend is a unique benefit that you will not find in any other product on the market. And our Neolife proprietary polyphenol blend. And finally, the natural amino acid L-cysteine. So let's take a look at why these are so important to you. Natural CoQ10, there's a lot of CoQ10 on the market out there. We were not the first. A matter of fact, we began researching this many, many years ago. And we said that we cannot feel good about introducing a CoQ10 product to the market until we know it comes from a natural source, until we understand the biological pathway that causes it creation. Only recently has that been achieved, like I said, after decades of research. The form we use and the way we put it together provides very high bioavailability compared to just plain CoQ10 that's out there, which is really important because frankly, if it doesn't get in your body, it's not gonna do you a lot of good. It's a unique ubiquinone form. Now, there's a couple of different forms you'll encounter out there, ubiquinol and ubiquinone. Ubiquinone is the preferred form in terms of its comfort in the digestive tract and its bioavailability. And it's presented in the clinically proven dose of 100 milligrams, okay? So those are four very important differences just about the CoQ10 component. But let's look at some of the other Neolife differences. Let's look at the Neolife mitogenic phytolipid and sterile blend. First of all, that's derived from natural whole grain lipids and sterols from rice and soy. Those are important because just like they build the structure and function of the outer membranes of your cells, they also build and promote the structure and function of mitochondrial membranes. To that, we add four natural rice-derived tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are members of the vitamin E family. They're particularly important because they are known to directly participate in protecting mitochondrial energy during energy production from free radical attacks, what we call reactive oxygen species. And those free radical attacks can actually degrade the membrane's ability to produce energy. Next, we include four powerful phytosterols. These phytosterols work on the function of these mitochondrial membranes. They promote mitochondrial membrane function and mitochondrial energy production in particular. Next, we have the Neolife proprietary polyphenol blend. Now, polyphenols are very important water-soluble uh, antioxidants. They're colorful things that you find in, in fruit, like grapes or blueberries or blackberries or strawberries or things like that. Neolife is a pioneer in that area, uh, has been doing research since well back into the 1980s in this area, and certainly has led the way in developing an understanding of the important relationships of polyphenols in the human body. But this is particularly important because there are specific polyphenols that are actually involved in mitochondrial energy production. They tend to be protector nutrients. Things like resveratrol is one of them, but others as well, the ones that you find in red grapes and the like. They provide not only antioxidant protection in the cell in general, but specifically antioxidant protection in the mitochondrial membrane, a very important part of mitochondrial health and a very important part of mitochondrial energy production. Lastly, we contain two very important components. The first is L-cysteine. L-cysteine is a natural amino acid that is the rate-limiting amino acid in the production of an important uh, mitochondrial protector compound called glutathione. Without adequate L-cysteine, you cannot produce enough glutathione. That's why it's called the rate limiter. So we included that to make sure that all of the L-cysteine was needed, that was needed to produce glutathione was there. That strengthens uh, intercellular uh, protective systems within the mitochondrial membrane as well as, as promoting mitochondrial function. And then we also included coconut MCT oil. MCT is medium chain triglycerides. And we hooked that up with sunflower lecithin. What that does is that captures and 
grabs a hold of the CoQ10 while it's in solution and helps improve bioavailability by dispersing it within a highly bioavailable media. When we combine that with our Neolife 3D advantage, the technology of understanding how things break down, knowing that when the product enters your stomach, how it first disintegrates and then dissolves and then disperses. And those three Ds promote bioavailability. The combination of the medium chain triglyceride, the coconut oil and the, and the sunflower lecithin with this technology that we apply in our laboratories assures higher bioavailability. Matter of fact, research has shown that when you put products together, when you put CoQ10 together like this, you get much improved bioavailability compared to the other standard products that are on the marketplace out there. So a very, another very big difference in Neolife CoQ10. So reality is, as we heard earlier, that all of these things cause a decline in your natural CoQ10 production. First of all, it tends to turn down naturally as you age. Secondly, we don't get the CoQ10 that we need from our food supply anymore. Third, prescription and non-prescription medications that we consume, many of those actually block or interfere in some way with CoQ10 production or utilization. And all of those things conspire to rob us of the energy that we hope to have and, and really should have throughout our lives. Through supplementation with Neolife CoQ10, you can bridge that gap and make sure that your body's getting all of the CoQ10 and support nutrients it needs for mitochondrial energy production every day. Now, there have been a lot of benefits proven for CoQ10 in scientific literature, and I'll give you a few, just a few here that I think you need to consider. First of all, CoQ10 has been shown to promote cellular energy, to boost overall energy and stamina, to support cardiovascular health, to reduce muscle pain and soreness associated with statin use or just simply working out too hard in the gym, enhance muscle cell energy production and renewal. You know, you're always renewing your muscles, so you gotta produce new muscle cells and they've gotta have new mitochondria. To support cognitive health, to support healthy vision and hearing, and even to alleviate the probability of a migraine headache. All of these and many more have been associated with CoQ10 supplementation. Now, when you look at our product on the market and you compare it to others out there, you're going to be presently surprised. None of them have the natural CoQ10 source that we have. None of them that we've looked at have L-cysteine for glutathione production or certainly not our phytolipid and sterol blends or protective polyphenols or any of the things that we've used to enhance bioavailability in the body. It's a very unique product based on decades of research that only Neolife can provide. So in closing, I'd like to remind you that everybody, every day, is producing energy in every cell all the time. And that energy production is directly dependent upon one very critical nutrient, coenzyme Q10. From the time you reach your sort of peak of development and every day of your life or after, thereafter, natural CoQ10 production will decline. When you associate that with poor diets and and the wide use of prescription and over-the-counter drugs that occur in the population, CoQ10 is really challenged. CoQ10 availability is really challenged. And the Neolife CoQ10 solution can help you fulfill that. It can help make sure that every day of your life, you're giving every cell of your body all of the CoQ10 it needs to facilitate this very, very important basic function of cellular energy production. Thank you very much.